In this lesson, we're going to look at the difference between reversing the vertex order versus simply reversing the normal vector. If you're coming to Houdini from another application, then you're more than likely to be familiar with the need to reverse primitive normals from time to time. But for the sake of anybody who's completely new to 3D content creation, we'll look at a very quick example of when and why we'd need to flip primitive normals. So for example, if we were to take a simple polygon sphere, we can see that the primitive and vertex normals are all pointing outwards away from the sphere. So we're looking at the front sides of these polygons. If this sphere was to be a ball in our scene, then this is exactly what we'd want. But if we wanted to render a scene on the inside of the sphere, then we'd need to reverse the vertex order so that the primitives are facing towards the camera. And as we've seen in the previous lessons, we can do that using the reverse node. So I'll just drop down a reverse node here after the sphere. And now we see that the interior of this sphere is shading as we'd want. Now let's clip this sphere in half so that we can see both the inside and the outside at the same time. And I'll do that using the clip node, which I'll just drop down after this reverse node. And I want to clip this in half across the X axis. So I'll come up to this direction parameter and I'll enter a vector of one, zero, zero. And now we see that we've set the clipping plane so that it's normals pointing in the positive X direction. And so we're cutting the sphere in half across the X axis. Now, if I toggle the reverse node on and off, we can see that reversing the vertex order of the polygons causes the primitive and vertex normal to go from pointing straight out away from the sphere to pointing back in towards the center of the sphere. These normals are currently being automatically generated. If I bring up the node info, we see that we don't have a normal attribute on this piece of geometry. So I'll drop down a normal node to compute the vertex normals and to store them as the normal attribute. And just like with the auto-generated normal, the normal node uses the polygon winding to determine the primitive direction. And so we don't see any change to the vertex normals in the viewport. We're just simply saving those values into the normal attribute, which we're creating and storing on the vertices. In this modify section at the bottom of the normal node parameters, we have this option to reverse normals. And it's important to be aware that this reverse normals option doesn't do the same thing as the reverse node. If I enable this, we see that it's reversed the direction of the vertex normals, but we can also see from the primitive normal markers that the primitives are all still facing in towards the center of the sphere. We can also see that the surface isn't shading correctly on either side. So this reverse normals option on the normal node doesn't reverse the vertex order on the primitive as the reverse node does. This reverse normals option simply multiplies each component of this normal vector by a negative one. And so we get the inverse of that vector. We can achieve exactly the same thing using an attribute expression node or any other node which allows us to directly manipulate attribute values using simple arithmetic. If I just disable this reverse normals option in the normal node and drop down an attribute expression node after this normal node. In here, I'll set the attribute class to vertices and I'll choose to create the normal attribute and I'll set the expression parameter to multiply by constant value. And for the value, I'll enter negative one for each component. And now in the viewport, we can see that we've done exactly the same thing and reverse the direction of those normal markers. And in the geometry spreadsheet, we can see if I bypass this attribute expression node and re-enable it again, it's just giving us the inverse of each of those values. If I select and set the display flag on the normal node, we see in both the viewport and the geometry spreadsheet that we get exactly the same thing by enabling and disabling this reverse normal parameter. So to reverse the vertex normals for surface shading, it's not sufficient to simply reverse the vertex normal vector. We need to actually reverse the polygon winding order because this is what determines the primitive direction. Using this reverse normal option on the normal node, something that we'd more typically do when using normals to orientate geometry. And that's what we'll look at in the next lesson.